Some of you have been requesting for this, so here's my Karote cookware review after one month of use. I was gifted these Karote sets first week of February, and I've been using them every day since. I got the ice cream set and yung set na may detachable handle. For daily use, mas nagagamit ko yung may detachable handle because for me, it's just more convenient for daily use. Although, I do use the big pot from the ice cream collection too. And as you can see, they are still very pretty. And I took this video yesterday. The other day, basta this week. I cook breakfast and baon ng mga bata at ng husband ko every morning. Then I cook dinner every night. So medyo bugbog talaga sila. And I use them both on my gas stove and my induction stove. I use the big pot for sabaw and pasta. And we use this one to boil water every morning. And I alternate between these two to fry or cook most of our ulam. Although marami ako nakikitang posts na nangitim na yung bottom ng karote pants nila or may discoloration na yung sa middle. But as you can see, I use it even when cooking highly staining food like anato oil, tomato sauce or tomato paste, ketchup, or just the regular ingredients that we use on a daily basis. Although inevitable, na mangingitim talaga kalaunan yung mga pots and pans natin, we can prolong their beauty by following these tips. Use the karote conduction plate kapag gumagamit ng gasul. It helps avoid yung pangingitim ng bottom. Huwag isalang sa stove na empty. I know nakasanayan na natin na painitin muna yung pan bago magprito para wag daw manikit yung food. But karote pans are non-stick, so there's no need to worry. Next, wag muna hugasan kapag mainit pa. Let it cool down first. And if feeling mo matatagalan ka pa, bago maghugas, wipe the food off or rinse them, avoid staining. This is my karote plate. Super pangit na, but my pots and pans are still very pretty.